to add the WHM server for restore, let's follow the steps provided in our wiki page by clicking here. So requirements, make sure you whitelist these two IP address and then simply follow the steps. Step 1, login to your WHM and create a new, remember a new account and make it a reseller. So create a new account and make it reseller. Let's do that. I'm in my WHM. I'm going to create a new account, search create. Just fill in the details of everything out. Choose a package. Just like you create, I'm going to make it internal. And this is the key. Check that. Make the account a reseller. That's pretty much it and I'm going to create the account. So for the domain name, it doesn't really matter. You can just make up a domain. Create. Let's check on step two. Next on your WHM left menu, go to edit reseller name servers and privileges select the reseller account you created in step one and hit submit so i'm going to do that edit reseller name servers and privileges um the account has been created edit reseller this one click that menu and i'm going to use this one the one that I just created for this demo. I'm going to hit submit. So now go to the third step. Go to the bottom of the page and check root access everything and check that box. Let's do that. Scroll down to the bottom. Everything. So that's it. And save all settings so that's modified the next step we have to log in as root into the server so I'm gonna use my terminal server software you can choose putty or anything you you, you like to use I'm gonna log in to my server and it asks to create the web directory. This is mandatory. You have to create a web directory in the root folder. Let's do that. That's it. As root, you have to do this as root. So I already did that. So once you create that, you have to soft link the web folder to the home directory of the cPanel account you create in step one. So in step one, I created my username as SAP Resell, right? So I'm going to link the web to SAP Resell, home SAP Resell. So I'm going to use this command, link web home sub resell that's it and i'm going to hit enter now we link that together and change the ownership of the web folder to the cpanel user you created in step one so sub resell is the username so i'm going to change ownership with ch own 
that stands for everything inside it sub resell dot sub resell both group and user is sub resell and web that's it you are done now that's it once you have done that you go back to here and name the label of the WHM restore for example um, site or the back of SAB main server this is the new account you just created sub resell and the password for it and the IP for it or just the domain name that points to that server port should be 2087 and hit submit that's it now if I go back here you can see it's listed here you can edit the server or you can add more servers you can add any number of servers you need to add and just keep repeating the process and once you've done that you can restore any backup files but it has to be a full cpanel backup files directly to this available whm server for restore but when you do that make sure the cpanel username does not exist in that target server which you want to perform the restore to that's it Thank you for watching.